What is up guys? Coach Jesse Minchu with Get Handles Basketball. Today I'm here with a whole bunch of handle geeks at Superstar Handle Sessions. We're going to help you with your handles, your change of direction, your ball control, your footwork, and getting your shot off off the dribble. You guys ready to do this? Yeah. All right, let's jump into it. So heads up, the last drill is actually one of my personal all-time favorites. It'll help you get an ankle-breaking handle and great ball control, plus footwork. The first one is a first step cone touch and crossover attack. That's what it's going to look like full speed key point is that you step with the opposite foot of the hand that's dribbling. That'll help protect the basketball from your defender. We're also going to reach to touch that cone, which will get a long, low first step, which is helpful for getting past defenders and sealing them. On top of that, it'll get you an active offhand. From there, you want to make sure your dribbling side foot lines up with the cone, which will be set up on the elbow, and then attack hard to the basket. Be sure to hit that like button if these tips are helping you out. Now, here's some details that'll help you take everything in this next level. First of all, the further you have that cone that you're touching away from you, the longer longer and lower of a first step you'll have. Also, obviously, a lower cone will help you get a lower first step. Besides that, you want to work on trying to get to the basket in as few dribbles as possible. So if you need one more dribble after that crossover, go ahead and take that one more dribble. But if you can work your way up to getting there right from the crossover without an extra dribble, just like you see here, that's going to give you a much more athletic, sharper change direction. Now, as far as how this would be used in game situations, the cone on the elbow could either represent your defender if they happen to jump on that first step and get in front of you. That crossover will help you change directions and break their ankles so you can get past them or a lot of times you'll get help defenders coming up right around that area and the crossover is a great counter move to beat that help defense of course you want to work on this going both directions as you see the kids doing the next move is a deadly variation to get your jump shot off from that but be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't yet so this one's going to be a first step cone touch and side step into a jump shot exact same setup the only difference is you're going to take a big cross body step to come across the free throw line and go into your jump shot from there. This is a great move to get your defenders shifting hard one way and then get them with an unexpected change of direction and create some sneaky separation for wide open jump shots pretty much anytime you want to. So working on this drill is a must do if you want to be able to get more shots off around that mid-range area. But leave me a comment, who has a better sidestep jump shot, James Harden or Stephen Curry? Another key point on this drill is you want to make sure you're being a efficient with those steps and not taking a whole bunch of extra stutter steps or anything like that. Try to get to your spot for your jump shot in as few dribbles as possible. And of course, we want to work on this in both directions. You'll probably find this is a little bit easier when you cross over to your weak hand side. And when you cross over to your strong hand side, it'll probably be a little bit more difficult at first. But after a few repetitions, you should be able to adjust. And that's why it's so important that you practice this so you can make that adjustment in practice instead of missing your shots in games. Now, this last upcoming drill is one of my all-time favorites. And I'm actually, at the end of it, going to give you a way to variate it depending on your level of ability. It's the drive and circle cone cross. So basically, you're going to take one dribble to attack to the cone ahead of you on the left-hand side. Crossover is going to be your second dribble in front of it. Crossover behind it is going to be your third dribble, and then you're going to repeat. One, two, three. One, two, three. Notice how you're always staying on the left side of the cones, except for when you're circling the cone. So that way we're working on that left hand and then those angled crossovers every time we come around the cone when we circle it. The other key point you want to pay attention to is make sure you pop those dribbles hard and move the feet quick when you're doing those crossovers to circle the cone. That's a must do, otherwise you'll end up carrying or having to take extra dribbles. The other thing you want to pay attention to is as soon as you get around the cone with those short choppy steps, push off hard to get into that next first step and that'll help you get to that next cone quicker. If you don't get there quick enough, you'll run out of air time in that dribble and have to take extra dribbles. So that's why it's extra important to push off that step hard. And then from there, of course, you'll want to do this on the right side, attacking to the right side and then circling around the cone in the other direction to work on different angle changes and of course, attacking out of different angle changes. That way you get your ability to stop on a dime going in both directions and attacking hard from a choppier, shorter step in both directions. One final tip to get this drill down is to circle the cone tightly when you do those crossovers. If you try to come too wide, again, you're kind of wasting movement and it's gonna make it harder for you to get to that next cone with enough air time to complete the dribbles in that one, two, three count. So I realize this might be a little bit difficult at first, so here's a way to make it easier. And then once you get the feel for it, also a way to make it harder and it's dead simple. 
All you need to do is take the cones and either put them closer together to make it easier or of course you can spread them apart to make it more difficult and work on your ability to stop on a dime quickly and then of course explode into your first step more powerfully. Now if you really want to boost your athleticism off the dribble, your footwork and your ball control, click the top link in the description. That's a 100% free workout called the Game Time Play Primer. That's already helped thousands of players and I'm sure to help you too. Also make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon to be notified of the newest videos and be sure to check out the video and playlists that are popping up on the screen. Those are going to help you a ton as well. I'm sure of it. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more, and make moves today.